Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, we're going to do another spooky reaction video. This time it's a Slapped Hams channel. The video is called Horror Incident Leaves You as Distressed. Uh, let's give it a watch and see what it's all about. I just want to say a big thank you for all the support. Um, and if you want to continue supporting the channel, you can become a member. If you're enjoying the reaction videos, there will be a bonus third upload every week uh, for members only. Normally I do a reaction video on a Tuesday and a Thursday, but there will be a special bonus episode goes out for members only. So if you want to sign up for that, I'll be eternally grateful for that. There will also be other content coming out soon. I'll probably do some longer form videos, do some reactions to actual full investigations of paranormal. Um, there's a couple of channels I do like to watch, so I might do some longer form reactions to those. They, they do go on quite longer than these little first videos which i tend to get out more frequently but that's an idea that may be coming from members only as well and as i said if you want to discuss this or any of my other videos please come by my live streams from around 10 o'clock p.m here on youtube i will be playing games and stuff but I, I may also do some live reactions and things like that from time to time on there as well so feel free to pop by uh in the meantime we'll give this a watch see what it's all about please pop by slap times channel and drop them a sub as well be grateful for that and let's give it a watch and hopefully it's a good creepy one let's see how we get on shall we in this episode you're going to see some creepy videos that no one can quite explain let's take a look terrifying photographs surfaced on social media last June, courtesy of Lauren Rocks over on X, offering a chilling glimpse into the eerie unknown. The images are said to have been captured by a trail cam placed deep in the forest near a hunting ground. The photos, triggered by motion, have captured two women kneeling over a deer. Comment sections buzzed with speculation as baffled netizens attempted to decipher the macabre scene. I thought that was our arm there, but apparently it's a deer. It must be the back leg of a deer or something. Near I thought it was like a long skinny arm with a big hand. Nearly a year has passed since their emergence, yet the mystery remains unsolved, leaving the true nature of these haunting images to the realm of speculation. So as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these strange photos in the comments section down below. It's just like tribals is out hunting. I don't think there's much paranormal or weird about that. What do you guys think? A spine-chilling post has surfaced online, originating from an ex-user under the alias Scarred for Life 2. The eerie tale centres around an unsettling image captured within the Central Library in Manchester, shared by a friend of the user. According to the post, the snapshot was taken in 2019 from a security camera stationed in the library's basement corridors. At first glance, the image appears innocuous depicting the dimly lit passageways. However, upon closer inspection, a figure can be seen. That is pretty creepy. I mean, it could just be pareidolia, but it blatantly looks like somebody in a overcoat looking directly at the camera with big black eyes, isn't it? That's, that's weird. It might just be overexposure. It might actually be somebody there, I don't know, but you can sort of see through them a bit. What are you guys a mysterious woman clad in a black dress stands eerily still, her gaze seemingly fixed directly on the camera. What makes this image particularly disturbing is the circumstances surrounding it. The uploader asserts that the area where the photo was taken was securely locked and undergoing renovations at the time, making it implausible for anyone to be present. Moreover, the uploader's friend, a library staff member, confirmed that unauthorised access to the basement was highly improbable. During World War II, the Central Library was repurposed as a public air raid shelter, providing refuge to soldiers, airmen and civilians amidst the chaos of the Manchester Blitz. Staff members, including Elizabeth Leach and Izzy Wallman, served as fire guards, witnessing firsthand the library's transformation into a wartime sanctuary. Amid the dimmed lights and blackout conditions, the library buzzed with the presence of diverse troops, from Polish servicemen to American GIs, creating a unique and at times eerie atmosphere. 
The library's thick walls and hidden corners might now harbour echoes of those turbulent times, fueling speculations that the spirits of those who sought shelter there could still linger, making the Central Library a potential haunt for those who believe in ghosts. It is quite chilling that actually. Right, one minute I'm doing my makeup in the mirror. On TikTok, a seemingly routine makeup tutorial took a spine chilling turn for user Millie George. In a video shared to her account, Millie innocently applies some cosmetics. But watch as something quite eerie takes place. It can be hard to notice at first, but if we slow it down, the door behind her slowly opens. And it seems slow. to reveal a face. And then no. it gets worse, it gets worse. It gets worse, mate. I don't know what to do. I'm just actually just look. That's creepy. What's more unsettling is Millie's obliviousness to the intrusion as the video cuts off before she registers the disturbance. And this doesn't show on the live, it's been cut, and I'm straight outside again. In a subsequent upload, Millie, visibly shaken, recounts the incident. Yeah, no, yeah. look, look, look. Okay, so. Right, the door opens. And then no. it gets worse, it gets worse. It gets worse, mate. I don't know what to do. I'm just actually just look. Home alone during her parents' vacation, she was unaware of any unauthorised presence in her residence. Speculation runs rampant among viewers. Was it a trespasser or something a little more supernatural? With no concrete answers forthcoming, the eerie encounter remains shrouded in mystery, leaving Millie and her followers to grapple with the unsettling possibilities. Looks like a kid. Sure they haven't got a sister or something. What do you guys think? Bit of a purely one. In a bustling 1850s Scotland, a discovery of profound mystery emerged when John Buchanan unveiled an iron drill piece on December 13th, 1852. This artifact, exhibiting modern craftsmanship, was found encased in a coal seam, surrounded by over two metres of clay presenting an extraordinary enigma about its origin and age. The coal seam dated back millions of years, far predating human existence, making the presence of the drill piece perplexing to the scientific community. Buchanan reported his find to the Scottish Society of Antiquaries, where it was meticulously examined and sparked extensive debate. The advanced design of the tool resembled modern engineering, yet some proposed it was a relic from a historical mining operation. Buchanan vehemently contested this, pointing to the undisturbed coal surrounding the drill, suggesting it had been naturally embedded over a very long period of time. During a society meeting, Buchanan detailed the discovery near Glasgow during the construction of the Great Western Road leading to the Botanic Gardens. Under the supervision of the reputable architect Robert Lindsay, the drill was unearthed by his apprentice and nephew, Robert Lindsay Jr three metres below the surface, encased in a solid block of coal. Villagers and workers who witnessed the extraction provided statements affirming its authenticity. The geological context of the coal, dating back millions of years, coupled with the modern appearance of the drill, has led modern readers to ponder more extraordinary explanations. Could this sophisticated tool be evidence of an advanced alien civilization that visited Earth eons ago? Buchanan's steadfast belief in the artifact's authenticity and his call for further investigation highlights a tantalising possibility that challenges our understanding of history and suggests that Earth may harbour relics from civilizations far beyond our own. I do like these historical ones. They sort of give you more food for thought and stuff. It's, they are quite clever. It does a lot of research. Uh, slapped ham. He's, he's good for stuff like that. Here's an eerie little one from ex-user Skipper23. The old photograph depicts a man sitting down casually smoking a cigarette. Yet upon closer examination, something chilling lurks. The photo, captured by Neville de Cruz in Adelaide, Australia back in 1975, initially appears to be a typical family snapshot. However, what sets this image apart is the discovery made during its development. 
disembodied hands seemingly clutching Neville's brother. That's mine. Despite rigorous analysis, the eerie phenomenon remains inexplicable. You think a little kid could possibly be hiding behind him, but there doesn't seem to be much room for that, and there's no sort of legs or anything behind the chair or anything like that. The absence of double exposure and the lack of physical space for such an apparition have confounded researchers, challenging conventional theories of the paranormal. The image was found to be so perplexing it was featured in a series of collectible cards called Unexplained Mysteries of the World in the late 1970s. At the time, the author of the card speculated whether the image could be an example of mind over matter, where unconscious turmoil within one's own mind might be subconsciously projected onto a physical medium, like this photograph. A concept often explored in 19th century spirit photography. Whatever the case may be, the mysterious nature of this photo invites contemplation, blurring the lines between reality and the inexplicable. Yeah, it's a bit strange how it sort of like fades out. I'm not going to question this guy being all grey and things like, I don't know. <laughs> what do these guys think? It is quite creepy. You think that there would be an explanation for that? For Tesla owner Alberto Magana, advanced technology took a chilling turn. In a recent TikTok video, Magana shared footage from his Tesla, revealing what appears to be someone following him on his journey home. The mysterious entity seems to track his movements, changing lanes whenever he does. Strange. This prompted Magana to capture the unsettling encounter on his phone. I did see another video of a Tesla a while ago where it was parked up and it looked like there was a guy standing where there was bins or something. Obviously Magana just an noted anomaly that with the, the phantom software. presence persisted for about 10 minutes before he began recording, leaving him baffled. Seeking answers, he reached out to his audience for theories, hoping to unravel the mystery behind this eerie phenomenon. There have been numerous examples where Tesla's advanced tracking systems appear to detect entities that the human eye can't. So can Teslas see dead people? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Yeah, it's probably just some sort of electrical anomaly, but um, like I said, there was another video a little while back where it was similar, he was parked up and there was a, a person stood nearby, but there was nothing there that actually showed you the spot where this guy was supposed to have been standing. And there was like bins and things, it was weird, but um, that was not what you think. If there's any more reports of this. With their unwavering loyalty and intuitive understanding, dogs hold a special place in our hearts often becoming cherished members of our families. Yet, yeah, there are moments when their presence transcends the ordinary, delving into the realms of the inexplicable. A recent TikTok video posted by user T Perez J1 thrusts viewers into a perplexing encounter. Take a look. Can you move? Can you move? She's taking the video. She's coming back. There appears to be a shadow of a dog sitting at the doorway. According to the uploader, the spectral figure captured on camera is none other than her daughter's departed canine companion. Despite having bid farewell to this faithful friend some time ago, the video appears to depict a ghostly reunion. Me? <laughs> He left. Wait, he's disappeared. Now he's disappearing. He's going to play with the dogs. And then it's going to come back. In this brief yet haunting glimpse into the inexplicable, we're reminded of the profound impact our furry friends leave on our lives. 
even beyond the confines of existence as we understand it. It was a bit strange how we just sort of faded out. I thought it might have just been a shadow from something, but it just seems to... Before we take a look at an unsettling photo captured in an old theatre in Wales, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our spooky and unsettling videos. Late night intrigue has emerged at Carmethan's Lyric Theatre in Wales, where a security camera captured an eerie image that sparked much speculation. Nathan Wynne Davies, the observer behind the footage, reports a ghostly presence haunting the theatre's deserted corridors. Davies notes that the image was captured in the middle of the night, showing a mysterious figure standing between the locked inner and outer doors. He also recalls previous sightings of the spectral visitor, seen either seated in the upper area of the theatre or pacing the perimeter, sometimes wearing a distinctive flat cap and thick coat. As whispers of this mysterious figure spread through the theatre, a subtle warning follows. If you find yourself wandering the Lyric Theatre's corridors, keep an eye out for the apparition. Within these walls, it seems, legends and spectres freely roam, casting shadows on the unsuspecting. Yeah, again, some good stuff in there. Get you thinking, that dog one was quite ominous. Let us know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, as I said at the beginning, if you become a member, there will be a bonus third episode for members only. Um, so we have shown gratitude to people who want to support the channel. Uh, we are trying to make progress, and any money that comes in towards the channel will go towards sort of making the quality better of the videos and the live streams and things like that. It will all go back into the channel and uh, be grateful for that. These guys mean a lot. It's We've come a long way, um, especially this last few months or so, we just seem to have took off and uh, I am grateful for that. I just want to say thank you to you all. And uh, these videos will continue to upload on Tuesday and a Thursday. If you want to discuss any of them, come by my live streams most nights from around 10 o'clock p.m. and we can discuss anything paranormal or anything gaming or whatever you want to talk about. As I said, if you do become a member, there are going to be extra benefits. I'm going to try and do some longer form content, um, some paranormal investigation reactions on longer videos, uh, full investigations in uh, properties and things like that that I've been watching quite a few of lately. Uh, I look forward to doing them. And in the meantime, appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.